Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the current Bitcoin range for you all and a very, very important fractal to at least be aware of and I will also show you how I am currently trading this and towards the end of the video I'm going to be covering some altcoins that I have and continue to you know trade at the moment. Uh, so I believe today's video is going to be uh, very, very useful, packed with some golden nuggets. Uh, so I do hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. And let's begin with the range. Oh, sorry. Let's begin. <laughs> with the range that we are currently in on Bitcoin overall. Okay, we can see very clearly sideways range bound with a low of the channel to the high, to the low, to the high, little bit of a throw over as we all know the swing failure of 8,800 coming back down to the mid and eventually to the low of the channel here. Okay, and yesterday coming up to the mid of the channel where we, you know, we saw a rejection. We can see the midpoint of this channel has seen fairly nice support once lost resistance. Okay, so EG, this, this channel in my opinion is, is very technically perfect. Um, so once we've acknowledged that, then let's, I just want to really bring your eyes to this potential fractal that we have going on from literally <laughs> the last rise that we had, where we can see from the bottom of the channel, a swift rise, downwards consolidation, next rise. Okay. So when we review that to what's happened here, okay, we can see along the bottom of the, of the channel, swift rise move down okay downwards consolidation and here on the lower term time frames you also got this swing failure so obviously the higher the move move down swing failure where you take out the high move back down look how similar it is rise sideways moving up taking out the high moving back down you can just compare this to what we're seeing here and i truly believe it's very very similar on top of that, okay, on top of that, when we come out to the four hour here, we can see very nicely a fib from the low of the move to the higher to move. This come down, it never lost the 382. So I believe for this fractal to play out, it should not lose the 382, which is 8,140, if I remember offhand correctly. 8,140, yeah? So for me, this is an important support level to hold at the, at the worst 0 0.5. But for the, for, for the fractal to play out very nicely, and we do want to see that 8142 uh, hold as a support. So that's kind of a key support level that I have got my eye on. <laughs> I've got my eye on at the moment, mate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what I'm currently trading from in terms of uh, a support line. Okay. But very, very nicely indeed. What we can see here is, you know, I, I, I think this move yesterday, I was trading this long. And the way that we got the move up to the top of the channel here. Uh, or the middle of the channel, which was also a daily resistance, which within $1. And this is just technical analysis really well, really, really well defined, I believe. Like $1 from the top, we're moving down. And today I have been day trading this as well. Okay, so today today I was day trading this long again um, from in, within this channel. Okay, was trading this long. Hopefully was, well, I, was, I guess I was hoping overall to get new highs. But um, in the end, come up to our weekly level, which for me was a take profit. Okay, I kept hold of my long on this second long, didn't take any more profit. Eventually, we come down to the bottom of the channel where I compounded my long, then closed 60% of it here. We obviously then got a move back down uh, temporarily to this low where I added again to my long. The bounce got zero follow through and then I took a loss. So overall, uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of profit, but nothing to shout home about. But this is what I really want to stress to you all. Like, really, really, really want to stress this. And I'm sure while I uh, talk about this, I, I made a tweet about this the other day. Um, that you just have to remember that in trading, in trading, it's very, very, very important that um, no trader. This is the tweet I'm referring to, by the way. Uh, no trader is ever, ever, ever going to be winning 100% of their trades. And uh, I, I, I truly believe that some of the newer traders, when they, for instance, come over to Twitter, they get this misconception uh, that professional traders are just winning every trade they take. And I truly feel sorry uh, because I, I, I guess I'm a little bit like it as well, that on Twitter, just nobody talks about their losses. And I'll be really, really open with you all. Like I absolutely take losses in trading and it's unrealistic for me to, I guess, to give that expectation to you that you're going to win every trade you take. You are 100% going to be taking losses in trading. So you just have to learn to accept losses, know that they're going to come and really do not be put off by them. You know, I take losses every day, but, you know, I guess at the end of the day, you know, I do this full time, like I win more trades than I lose, obviously, and I'm and I'm, I'm, I'm more profitable, but absolutely I'm taking losses. And I just really wanted to stress that because some people I think, I mean, I guess because of the way, you know, especially if you focus on Twitter, that nobody really talks about it, but you just have to acknowledge that they're going to come 100% of the time. And like adds this, you know, this tweet that I'm talking about, 
if you're right six types out of ten you're a very good trader but guess what you could you know even a 50 percent win rate is is very good if you've if you're good with risk management but guess what you could take five losses in a row win your next five you've got a 50 percent win rate but if you take five losses in the row you might become extremely depressed and think what is this it's not for me and then you know just for an example give up <laughs> um but you know absolutely like i myself could go five losses in a row but you know i hope then to win my next five for a decent win but um you know i just wanted to start off this video by saying you know this range is a little bit choppy you have to expect losses you're not going to be perfect trading this nobody is okay uh so yeah I, I just wanted to say that because I, I sometimes give the impression that I'm winning all the time. But yeah, um, <laughs> obviously I traded this kind of well, but at the end ended with a loss there on the long, obviously getting stopped out of the low. Uh, but how do I see this now overall? <laughs> uh, so overall, going back out a second, so I want to stick to the higher term time frames. Really looking at that support 8140. If we ma manage to maintain 8140 at, at the worst scenario, okay, anything below 8000 uh, for me would be uh you know hitting the midpoint back to the bottom of the range it's not over really until you you, you know you start losing this range uh but that would give me a bearer stance losing 8000 would prefer to see 8140 holds uh where obviously we, we can expect to move up to around 8470 8470 or up to the top of the range again if this is fully range bound but uh unrealistic to look at targets here when you've still got this area of resistance to go through first this for me would be a first target area if you get through that then look up to the top of the range uh obviously losing 8140 would put me a little bit uh of a stance leaning bearish uh but fully bearish at uh, once losing the, the bottom of the range for me totally um but in the meantime i am very very aggressive on altcoins and i can say uh quite honestly that i have traded altcoins very well <laughs> um you know i think altcoins excel when bitcoin's range bound and overall it's fairly safe to say bitcoin has been very range bound lately and altcoins have been doing very well if, if you're good at picking altcoins to trade i guess some are very bad e.g ethereum this this coin has just been doing very badly <laughs> but i'm happy because i'm shorting that but um yeah, let me go through some of the alts that I have been trading for you all. Uh, so starting with Matic. So Matic, I think, has been a very great one. And it also is a kind of a little bit of a hype coin. So I currently am in this, I'm still in this long. Okay, so I still am in this long, which was an entry from the breakout of this symmetrical triangle. So you can see you had this very nice symmetrical triangle. Again, the, the, the target is very simply measured move the, the triangle. You could take it from the bottom of the triangle, which I think then is going to hit target already, just to be aware of. Uh, or you can take it from the, you know, the breakout of the channel. Or oh, I'm looking for a conservative channel, a conservative target of the top of our old parallel channel here. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a trade that I took uh, yesterday and it is currently in about 6% profit. So I've got nothing to worry about. Stops in, stop loss in profit, I guess. Um, and just for the people that are going to say, Daniel, this is all hindsight. You're not even in this trade. Um, well, I present to you that this was the exact setup that I posted yesterday as it was breaking out. And from here, we actually got the move down. Okay, I'll show you this on the lower. So you see here, this is when I posted it in the group. We got the move down. Okay, totally filled the position and then a move up. So yeah, there's for the people doubting that this was not taken. Uh, <laughs> although I don't really think people are going to think that. But nevertheless, uh, that was uh, Matic. So still in this one, still in this long, hoping for a little bit of a move up that stops now in profit. Uh, secondly, today I have also been trading basic attention token. Uh, so basic attention token is, is I, I think this coin is really, really, really technically perfect. I mean, it trades very, very well. If, you know, if you like trading Fibonacci channels and, you know, my horizontal levels, they, they, it literally trades so well. So when we zoom out on the bigger grand scheme of things, it's, it's just really technically perfect. Uh, but obviously on the, on the shorter term here, what we can see is a little bit of a also range bound between monthly Okay, monthly now support and daily resistance really clearly range bound in here. And uh, if you find yourself struggling to pick alts, <laughs> a little bit of a show of myself where today, this morning, I gave out a trading link, bat, matic, long, ETH and XRP short. Links turned into a, from the bottom of the range, which I'll cover in a moment, 17% gain. Basic attention token, 7% gain. Matic, obviously, still from yesterday, but that's about a 6% gain. Ethereum short, that's about a 1% gain. And XRP, I think, is currently in a losing position. Okay, so it's kind of, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit underwater. But I'll, I'll, I'll be also, also honest with you, because you might say, oh, Daniel, come on, you, you, you said you're losing trades and you just gave us 100% winners. But I took a short yesterday also on XRP, and you can see how that I got stopped out on XRP. 
as I was envisaging this breaking down, and this is what I call an aggressive short, uh, e.g. because if we had lost this trend line, I, had I imagined the fall to be very swift to the downside. So I took a, an aggressive short position and obviously got stopped out on that rise. Uh, so that was a short I took yesterday, and that was also in the trading updates, just to be really transparent with you all. Uh, I originally was only going to take it on a loss of that trend line, so I guess I didn't uh, you know, on the tr on the thing, I said I'd only lose it if it lost the trend line. It didn't lose the trend line, but nevertheless, I took the short and lost that trade. Okay, uh, but on the flip side, <laughs> I might as well cover this while I'm here. Gave the resistance yesterday of eight three five eight on Bitcoin, and as you all know, the high of this was obviously given while we were at range bound here yesterday, and the high of this move being eight three five seven. So yesterday I got that resistance within one dollar, which I think makes up for it. But also yesterday was also in link and back, and let me cover link for you all now. Uh, link. I mean, this is another one which I just absolutely love. Technically traded so well. I mean, even this is one that I was covered in live stream back on Sunday. So we were managing on live stream to look at it back here. But, uh, you know, for me, this was an entry and this is currently, yeah, 17%. This has just been crazy and we're going gunning for all-time highs here. We absolutely are gunning for the all-time highs. But a link and just another really, really technically traded coin. It's just flip, flip, moving on. So you're currently looking at daily support again. A little bit of daily resistance above you where well, you could envision a range but if this continues with its strength moving on up here um but yeah i guess overall moving back to bitcoin just to end this uh currently range bound it is a little bit choppy uh, i hope that i haven't given an expectation that i'm winning everything and i've given a little bit of transparency that although i've done very well with the alts let's be truthful um you know, I'm also taking losses. I just really, really don't want to give the expectation of false expectation that I'm winning everything that I trade <laughs> because I'm definitely taking losses as well. And, uh, you know, just for an instance today, one of the trades that I lost was XRP. So definitely trading is not perfection. You cannot... I guess this is a, just my final words. Do, do not think you can come into trading with 100% perfection. And if anyone's trying to essentially sell you perfection, it's, it's false expectations. You have to, in my opinion, one of the main, if not more important than, than technical analysis, um, you know, risk management is highly, highly up there with a must uh, know what you're doing <laughs> before you start to trade. You know, risk management is absolutely important because we know as professionals, you're going to take losses. So if you know how to manage your risk, you could even have like a 40, 30% win rate if you're good with risk management and still be profitable. Obviously, I would always aim to have higher than that, to be honest. But, you know, with those sort of win rates, you can still be profitable if you know what you're doing with risk management. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's all I'm going to end with. And I hope that I've given you a little bit of a wake up call if, if you are one of these people expecting, you know, or just get the false expectation from Twitter or social media, etc. that professionals are winning every trade they take. It's definitely not happening. And, you know, this range for me has also been a little bit choppy. Obviously, I got, you know, to be honest, I did do a good trade yesterday <laughs> and a kind of a good trade today. But it is still a little bit chopping unless you really know what you're doing. If you're down here on the five minute, it can get it, you know, even for me, sometimes it is a little bit choppy. For example, I'll give you another trade, which I did lose. OK, this was another trade that I lost. I'm uh, giving you lots of um, kind of bad trades, I guess, at the moment. But I had a weekly level which was defined at 8,219 uh, 8, was a weekly, okay? I shorted originally the 8,219, okay? Shorted 8,219 because it was also uh, a 618 resistance from high to low, okay? So a little bit of confluence, okay? I shorted that level, uh, but then... The, the, the following day, obviously, uh, I shorted there and I managed to close out a break even. So I guess it was a break even trade. But at the end, at the end of the day, it was still temporarily sat in underwater. It was not a great trade. Let's be honest. Uh, let's just class it as a lo losing trade. But, um, you know, you might think these trades are, you know, magically because I guess overall we're we are confined by the monthly uh, support and weekly resistance. But I I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking. I just say hope that you've enjoyed this video. Keep the eye on that fractal. That's what I'm currently trading from. Uh, if we break down from that, I will be looking for shorts. Um, so I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video, given you a little bit of uh, insight into how I trade and, uh, you know, how I'm, you know, while Bitcoin is in this, for in my opinion, bit of a choppy range, the altcoins absolutely killing it. You know, you're seeing 15, 20 percent gains in a few days. It's, it's just unreal, if I'm honest, like loving altcoins. Hope that you've loved this video. And thank you very uh, thank you ever so much for joining me. If you if you have enjoyed, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And uh, if you're feeling very generous, a comment um, letting me know, do you think we will see this fractal again? So the question for the comments for below, do you think this fractal is going to play out again and we could see a possible rise to 8,500 next? 
slash 8,800, uh, even higher, <laughs> uh, or do you think that this is essentially a little bit of a bull trap? We will put in another lower high and we are heading down here. I'd be thoroughly interested. Uh, I like to say that word thoroughly. I'd be interested to see your opinion of the community uh, down below and I'll catch you in the next technical analysis. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much and goodbye. Cheers.